Hello, welcome back everyone. I hope you all had a good weekend and I hope we all have a great start to the week. Today I'm going to look at does the narcissist regret losing you? This is something that gets uh, a lot of targets, victims, empaths into trouble because we start to have pity for the narcissist we start to actually try to understand why they behave so poorly with us we start to understand them to the point that it can actually do us a lot of damage our job is not to go into understanding why they have behaved in a certain way but more that they have done what they've done and then they've managed to gaslight it on to um, us does the narcissist regret losing their targets, victims? Yes, in particular if they were of high supply and in particular if the target victim initially showed signs that they would always go back and now they've gone no contact for good. And that's when we can start to pick up their Jedi thoughts. That's when we can start to feel sorry for them. Narcissists though are extremely prideful, some more than others. And what they won't do is say sorry. And so they rely on the empath to keep reaching out. And that's why you can feel a strong pull. Now, if there was very strong chemistry, uh, strong also sexual chemistry that really created this strong bond that you believe that there is something more here than just the average relationship because it really does feel like a soulmate even more than a soulmate because you can't get them out of your head so what then starts to happen is that the narcissist does start to regret they start to regret because they realize whoa this could be permanent here but not always you know because what narcissists do they're delusional so they'll start to compartmentalize things and they'll still keep believing no he or she really is in love with me uh they oh they don't even want to think of uh, you being with another person but we've got something that's occurred so a discard has happened now when that discard happens when you shine light on the narcissist truths if you actually went and told other people about what happened they now disrespect you and every time you go back to them they disrespect you more and more so it's this disrespect so they will want you and miss you when you're not there but then when you go back, we've now entered into disrespect. And this is when the games all start. And this is when it just becomes uh, a nightmare, a real nightmare, because you have nervous system chaos. The narcissist needs you to go back to them. Narcissists will also, uh, in particular the covert ones, they will have new supply. They may have still had people when they were with you you know, friends with benefits that they kept quiet, but they will want to keep that very hush-hush because they're still going to want you to believe that they are on their own. This is in particular if there was a very strong attraction or if you really have something that the narcissist wants and it just could be your light, it could be your energy, yeah? It could be that they just really want to keep punishing you to have you in their control they don't want you to have someone else but when they get you back they will disrespect you more so it's a very tricky situation but it is one that you must be highly aware and alert of because you do not believe what you are feeling we have to think logically here right and we have to understand that if the narcissist has done this to us once and if we've done it to ourselves once, twice, how many times are we going to keep going back, right? Relationships don't break up for no reason. Relationships do not break up for no reason. Something has happened in the relationship. And usually it's because the narcissist was already starting to mix with other supply. You possibly picked up on that. You then started to see that they were playing you, push and pull. You then one day decided, nah, that's it. They then 
You tell them that you're suspicious of their behaviour and they turn it into a joke. They make you seem like the crazy one. But our intuition is there for a reason and it's there to protect us. And if relationships were calm and balanced and transparent, then we would not be feeling so insecure. We wouldn't be having to guess what are they up to. All right, I hope that's helped. Take lots of care. And if you want a session with me, please reach out. Bye for now.